Welcome everyone to the award ceremony of the Volvo Environment Prize 2020. According to a recent report by the conservation group WWF, the wildlife population has fallen by more than two-thirds in less than 50 years. Less known is the decline of insects. Claire Kremen is an expert on wild bees and says she's concerned about the insects' declines. I think it's very serious. Insects are the little things that run the world. If we don't put a price tag on nature, we are effectively saying nature is worth nothing. Many of today's assessments of agriculture are looking at just one kind of output, which is yield. So we need new models for how to feed the growing population. And here, biodiversity comes into play. We can work with biodiversity and instead of against it. Loss of biodiversity is one of the greatest challenges facing humanity today. I wasn't surprised at all to hear that Claire Kremen was awarded the Volvo Environment Prize. Professor Claire Kremen, our rock star and uh, our hope for the future. Congratulations. Thank you so much, Volvo Environment Prize Foundation. Through this award, the Volvo Environment Prize Foundation is signaling how important it is to transform how we do agriculture. I'm Santa Ono, President and Vice Chancellor of the University of British Columbia. On behalf of UBC, I would like to congratulate Claire Kremen, the 2020 Volvo Environment Prize Laureate. Claire Kremen's prize for understanding the role of working landscapes in biodiversity conservation is a really key piece of the puzzle of changing agriculture towards more sustainability in the future. Biodiversity-based farming can actually be as or more productive than conventional farming systems. We have today our laureate, of course, Professor Claire Kremen, we also have Professor Ricardo Bomarco. Will that not also mean higher food prices? We have to consider our economic, political, as well as environmental systems at the same time, as difficult as that is, so that we don't uh, shove the problems from one system over onto another. What is your message to companies that think that biodiversity is actually not their responsibility? Uh, climate change and biodiversity needs to be addressed as the two sides of today's ecological challenge. The enormous range of uh, adaptation and colors and forms and life histories that insects have is an amazing way of getting into understanding and seeing nature and getting in touch with nature. And the warmest congratulations to this year's laureate, Professor Claire Kremen. Thank you very much for today. We hope that you have enjoyed the event. So we end up by saying bye-bye to everyone. Thank you. See you bye. next year. <laughs>